Okay, let's make this absolutely clear. I don't love Homelander from the boys as a person. I'm not even the judgy type, but Homie is an awful human being. Absolutely despicable and just the scum of the earth. So I'm not going to say I love this awful human being like that. But I will say that I love this awful human being because he is such a lovable villain. Not like how people love Loki because Loki ain't that devious. It's because Homelander is just straight up unredeemingly evil, which to some is distasteful. But to me, it makes me love Homelander even more. First, Anthony Starr's brilliant performance. I said this all the time, man. It's just out of this world. I love it so much. And I've also said this all the time, that Anthony Starr's performance as Homelander is on par with Heath Ledger's Joker. And don't worry, this is not another glaze section of Anthony Starr. I already made an entire video doing that. But Homie just does everything well he balances being funny goofing charming charismatic while looking like he wants to punch a puppy but first demoralizing that puppy and then just let that puppy fall off the building he does that a little too well honestly and it just really got me scared to meet him in real life because i love to meet anthony star but from afar you feel anyways anthony star made this character his own and made homelander a star see what i did there However, the great writing supports why Homelander is such an iconic villain. I adore how they use his tragic backstory of a boy born to be Vought's lab rat turned superstar, not as a way to sympathize with him, but as a way to contextualize what created this monster. It's not like you can't sympathize with him, but I feel like that wasn't the full intent. Because of what Vought did, they truly just stroked this kid's ego so far that they made him believe that he is a god to others. And he also feels hurt though. That's the thing. They stroked his ego so far, but they never truly loved him, you know? Every single human interaction in his childhood was so cold and distant. He was treated as a test subject than an actual kid. So of course, as people say, hurt people hurt people. And this applies to Homelander. Overall, his villainy comes from this entitlement and comes from this pain he feels from long ago in his childhood. So in return, he scorches his world with the same exact pain. That's all he knows, which makes Homelander the most compelling aspect of the boys because his presence reeks throughout the entire show. Even if it's a darkly funny scene, there's still dread underneath it all. You just feel such a mix of emotions. It's like finally sending that risky text to that girl that you believe you're in love with. So sending that risky text got your heart pumping because you finally got your feelings off the chest. Then you just throw your phone somewhere far away, feeling anxious about what she'll about to say. And then after pacing around the house, finally your heart pumps to the max. Again, the instant you get that notification from her with an inkling of hope, honestly. And then you finally read it and it says, she likes you too, but as a friend. And she has absolutely no interest in dating you. So now you're in that dreaded friend zone forever and she probably would never want to talk to you again. And that's honestly the worst possible dread you can feel. That's the mix of emotions and dread that Homelander brings to all of the scenes he's in. And that's why I love him. And looking at it now, they could have easily turned this character into the basic evil Superman type and could have just been super surface level. But thankfully they didn't and poured a lot of attention and detail into this character. And it's why I love Homelander and the boys a lot. Also, did I mention that Homelander is relatable? I know, kind of weird. I don't want to relate to this narcissistic monster, but hear me out. First, he got mommy and daddy issues. And second, he only lasted 15 seconds with the girl. That's the endurance I'm talking about, baby.